Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Last time um, we visited, what is his name? Emil. We've... Um, we talked to Emil's parents and now we're going to go talk to Emil. Yeah, I've, I've gotten your dialogue before. Emile de Lancé. Wow. Are you... Are you a mage? Because you just magicked my breath away. Uh-huh. That was... That was... Okay. You're in trouble, Emile. I'm trying to help you out. My name is... De Lancé. It comes from a part of Volet famed for its... Stout lances. Really? You want to see mine? Can I kill him yet? <laughs> He's hurting me. The fool doesn't understand how to lay low. Rando drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know, and you are. You are. Ugh. They call me the champion of Kirkwall. I've been looking for you, Emil. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, uh, suave. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six? For 20 years I was locked up. Uh, I never had a real drink or, uh, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. I'm, I'm not here to kill you. What the heck does Isabella... Let, let me see what, what this is first. Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. This is an act. The mage makes himself out to be harmless. Really, Fenris? I just don't want to die of Elgin. <sighs> Isabella. Emile wants to live a little. Why don't you give him a hand, Isabella? Oh my god. You don't mean... no. No! He's revolting. I do just fine whoring myself out without your help, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, I was not thinking that that's where that dialogue was going. Um, uh, you, I would go, but don't stay here. The Comtesse gave you the money so you could get out of Kirkwall. Stop wasting it. You let me go? I can tell the Templars you're dead. But you have to leave now. I, I think there's a ship leaving port tonight. Uh, I'll find my way onto it. Thank you. I'll find some way to repay you someday, I promise. No rivalry from Fenris for that, which is really interesting. That's really, I mean, with that comment, you would think that this quest would give you rivalry, but for whatever reason it doesn't. That's very odd, actually. Um, okay. Let's we gotta go we gotta go back and talk to Meredith. So let's go do that. Do you have many dealings with the Knight Commander? Please don't start with that. I'm not a Templar. I'm the captain of the guard. We arrest burglars. The Knight Commander never gives us a thought. Grand Cleric Elthina is worried about her. She's stopped taking the Chantry's advice. Her job's not easy. Certain forces in the city are allied against her. Don't try to be subtle. I'm right here. Clearly our Templars need strong leaders. Until something changes, that's Meredith. And we must give her any support we are able.
I'm led to believe that both Huan and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. It seems, however, that we have still heard nothing of Emile de Lancet. Yeah, about that. Emile was killed. Yet we have no body, no witness to a battle. Most curious. Regardless, your part in this is done. Mm. I, I mean, like, in the case of Evelina, yes. But I don't know, this just seems... I don't know if I agree with that. I still don't like that I helped you, so... At least this is over. Wait. That's it? Pay us and send us on our way? Not a single thought given to the fact that you Templars brought all of this upon yourselves. Huon and Evelina were entirely innocent then. So the Templars are absolved of all responsibility? You can't be that big an idiot. And you cannot seriously be blind to what just happened. Be very careful, mage. Your friendship with the champion protects you only so much. Anders. This is not the time, Anders. If not now, when? We do what we think is best for this city, mage. That is all we can do. I bid you good day, champion. Some of it is the Templar's fault, yes, and some of it isn't. Um... I appreciate your assistance, champion. And yeah, I should have gotten, like, friendship rivalry all over the place, but they're locked in, so it doesn't matter. Or Sino! This is a difficult time for Kirkwall. You still won't talk to me! <laughs> okay, we're leaving. I have to admit, Anders, of the mages I know, you're the one I expected to go out in a blaze. <laughs> The day is young. It was a compliment, you ass. No, it wasn't. Oh my god, guys, come on. Alright, what are we gonna do next? Because I have no idea. Oh, we have mail again! Let's go do that! Mail. I hope all is well. Oh gosh, lots of mail. Holy cow. Mr. Hawk, thank you so much for telling Bodan about us. He knows many people in Kirkwall and has found homes and jobs for most of us. I'm helping him out as a delivery boy, much better than digging in the trash for food. Cricket now lives with a nice family in Hightown. They saw him at the marketplace and wanted to help. They even tried giving him a new name, Charles maybe, but he answers only to Cricket. Thanks again for helping us. I'll never forget you, your friend Walter. From Night Commander Meredith? Oh, from the desk of Night Commander Meredith. Miss Sarah Hawk, Night Commander Meredith expresses her gratitude for services rendered. Please accept this token of her humble appreciation. Yours sincerely, Elsa. Best serve cold. Champion Hawk, it took great courage the other day for you to speak openly against our Night Commander. You have my support in any actions you take. I hope I have yours as well, for there is a situation in the circle I was hoping you could assist me with. Please meet me at the gallows. Meredith has confined my mages to their cells and forbade me from traveling further than the courtyard. I appreciate your service and discretion. Sincerely, First Enchanter Orsino. Favor and fault. Champion Abigail Hawk, as a courtesy for your past service, be aware that I have received complaints about your frequent companion, Guard Captain Aveline. She is accused of coddling her men and weakening law enforcement in this crucial time. In the absence of a Viscount, I am called to vacate her position and assume her authority, but I would rather not have that headache. Please speak to her about these claims, as champion your word can decide this matter and save the career of a good woman. Like Captain Cullen. Cullen! <laughs> oh, Cullen! <laughs> King Alistair, dear champion, please meet me in the keep! What? Oh! There's so many messages for me, Bodan. I was gonna... Oh, gosh. Who do we go see first? Oh, I think... I think we're gonna have to meet Alistair, which means I'm taking you. And I'm taking you. And I'm taking you. 
you're going to do this. Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Mm. That's never been Alistair. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> um, hi. How do you do, Your Majesty? I've been better. Manlier too, come to think of it. <laughs> this is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say... What an honor it is to meet you. Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, uh, yes, it was. Sadly, Loghain still lives. Yeah. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait, weren't you? <laughs> That's the rumor. Huh, I guess we get around. So, you're a king now. Moving up in the world. Isabella, right? You look... different. Don't we all? <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. <laughs> um... You know about me? I'm surprised you would even know who I am. I know you came here from Lothering. A Ferelden refugee that did well for herself. Against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. But things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. Is that Templar behind him eavesdropping? <laughs> um. Was uh, Meredith angry? You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. And mages have it better in Ferelden? Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. Can you take over the circle? Yeah, I don't see that going over well, but we'll ask the question or make the statement. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Ah, easier said than done. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try. <laughs> we'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. That Templar, I swear! <laughs> He's cracking me up. Um... There are a lot of Ferelden's here. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Hmm. That is a good question. I don't know. Kirkwall is my home now. I understand. Ferelden's loss. Um, what happened with Orlais? Is there to be a war then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. Why is that? What's happening in Orlais? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. <laughs> okay. Call back to his line in Origins. Um, I could be Viles, can't you? You have a lot of nerve. Uh, can I help somehow? 
Do you really think there's something I can do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Great. <laughs> Great. Is there another threat I should know about? Protect Kirkwall from what exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. Thanks. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. She has a name, you know. <laughs> so, that was fun. I guess this was the Templar that was eavesdropping through the entire conversation. I saw you. I you live the way you do. Blithely ignoring the consequences of your actions. This is about the Canary thing, isn't it? I'm not ignoring it. I just recognize that it happened years ago. There's this fantastic thing called moving on. <laughs> you should try it sometime. Has it occurred to you that Kirkwall is only just recovering from the Canary attack? And you want me to... what? Flog myself daily? Has it occurred to you that maybe there's no justice in the world? Other than that voice you keep in your head. Hello again, champion. Back to the barracks. I never tire of it. Good. Come on in here. I will talk with you. You have no vicar. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Yeah, I don't like him either. Trouble. Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just out of hand. Uh, there are some complaints about you, apparently. Knight Captain Cullen has heard some troubling things. Such as? That you coddle the men. Give special treatment. Someone has dared. Who? Who accuses me of this? It's anonymous. No names given, of course. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him, or any in my command. You don't need to prove it to me. I don't have to see proof. I already believe you. Of course you do. But nobody questions my leadership without a response. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Accuse me of being soft. Not in this lifetime. <laughs> I was gonna yell at that guy for standing in her door, but he left. Is Donick... Did Donick just randomly disappear? Yeah. I don't think he exists in the barracks anymore, anyway. Alright. Let's go take care of this for Aveline. Um, tonight. Favor and fault? Nope, oh, wrong way. Donick will be on this route. Let's see how hard you sweat your men. <laughs> oh, jeez. Would 
Nope, we're not done. Sir Ahork, or is it always champion now? You're too much of a chameleon, my friend. <laughs> well thought. You made short work of this lot. This is common. As common as I like. What's going on? It's all right. Go ahead. Every guard chooses the patrol they want. My wife promotes from the bold, not the reckless. Action is up. Casualties are down. It is remarkable. As are you, love. Thank you. That will do. Another time, Sir Ahawk. Safe travels. That should be sufficient. Take that to the temple. Indeed. Let's go talk to Cullen. We'll do that. For sure. Pick this up. Okay. Colin. I suppose you're just thrilled how the Knight Commander's basically stepped into the Viscount's seat. She can't stall the process forever. It's not her place. Leaving the Viscount's seat empty will just tempt people to fight for it. It will cause more trouble than it prevents. Well, you've got a brain in there after all. You don't have to. I was convinced that headband was to keep it from falling out. You don't have to be a jerk, Anders. Champion, and you are with the captain. None too happy about the accusations against her, I'm sure. Yeah. You could say that. These concerns are baseless. I saw no evidence to support the claims against her. As I suspected. Then why press this? Some feel that the solution to the current crisis of leadership is to consolidate authority. As long as these complaints continue, baseless or not, they will serve as justification for eliminating the position of Guard Captain. It would be the simplest fix, whether or not I agree. Who's behind the complaints? Perhaps I can reason with the people who are complaining about her. If they meant to use reason, they would not be anonymous. But the complaints originate in Lowtown. Guardsman Brennan is on that patrol. Why wouldn't she tell me of this? I don't know, but I do apologize for the assumptions of this incident, Guard Captain. It has been unfortunate. It's not done. To Lowtown Hawk. I need to speak to Brennan. That is exactly where we are going. Oh, geez. Holy cow. Did not mean to do that. Oh. I do think some of Anders' more dickery moments comes from justice. Because Justice obviously wouldn't support her. Wouldn't support Meredith or anybody who supports Meredith. So, anyway. Guardsman! Why did a Templar have to tell me there is unrest in this district? What's going on? Guardsman? It's Captain Jevon. I didn't report his return because I'm ashamed for him. He's trying to rile the guards against you. But none of us will follow him. 
You lead better than he ever did. This is this guy you replaced, right? We've made so many enemies. I don't remember him as that impressive. He deserves to be forgotten. He abused his position and blamed me when we caught him. He was well liked by some, but not once the truth was known. Where is he now? We need to find him. Guardsmen? The guards will have nothing to do with him. So he found others. Militia. Mostly anti Ferelden. The same kind who were against the Canari. I guess it's been long enough they've forgotten how many the champion killed. <laughs> A rally against the tyranny of the guard and foreigners who infest Kirkwall. I'm sorry, Captain. Return to the barracks. The rally is in Darktown, Hawk. I need to be there. And you most definitely will be. I'm gonna get this. Let's go. Hey, Samson. Things are heating up. It's a good time not to be a Templar. Huh. Things are heating up. It's a good time not to be a Templar. Dark Town. Whoa. Is that it? Three people? Weird. Ah. Uh. Do some shopping upstairs pretty soon. The champion? Here. It's the captain. Are we ready for this? Too long, brave Kirkwall. You did not throw off all others only to fall under Ferelden influence. Leaderless, displaced, alien hands on the most basic authority, foreign elite bleeding you. Jevon, you disgrace yourself. The Ferelden with the Elysian name. Is there anyone else who so embodies how far this city has fallen? Have at him, Aveline. This one is all yours, Captain. Do they know how you sacrificed your men? How you alone disgraced your name? Bitch! You took everything from me! You took it from yourself. The guard know this, and none stand with you. He stands alone. This is no rebellion. It is delusion. A joke inflicted on Kirkwall, your home and mine. I will not be left with nothing again. No, you shall have less. Yeah. Got away from me. Got ah, reinforcements. Now. Good. 
No, no, we're not. You fool. Why would you do this? If I live to a hundred, I will never understand his kind. To the barracks, Hawk. My guardsmen will be waiting. Okay. Taking that. Oh, we might as well go to the barracks. We got time. This, uh... So it looks like all those people were just mercenaries that he'd gathered. So, Donick was in the rose. He was not. Easy, big girl. He wasn't shopping for himself. You're lucky to have a man who wants to please you. But maybe you could indulge him more. Are there areas of intimacy you haven't explored? Why? Why do you give me these doubts? Aveline, if you shove your thumb up his ass, I win. <laughs> Just... no. <laughs> oh, Lord, okay. <laughs> Jevon, son of a bitch. You build a good thing, work your hardest, and the past just claws at you. He was a fool. Jevin failed before he started. You know this. I do, and he doomed himself. But it smears all of the guard. I wonder what I would do if my captain lost my respect. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. I'll take it. <laughs> I need a moment, Hawk, but... There is something else. Come back and talk to me. Oh, we can actually talk to you right now. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it here. We're gonna end this episode here. Um, and we will continue on next time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Social media links in the description. Thanks for watching.